Hey guys, welcome to M N M M Plants. Today I'm going to share my journey with this beautiful rose plant that you can see over here, the white rose tree. Now earlier it was a plant, and if you are someone who's looking to learn about roses as to how can you take care of them, how can you have a lot of blooms on your roses with no pest. because roses are a lot of times referred to as pest attractors if you want to learn about all these then do hit that subscribe button and also the like button if you like the video at the end so that you become the part of this family let's get started one and a half years ago when i moved into this property this was a baby plant like a little small plant and full of aphids so if you have watched my video on aphids i referred that i just moved into this property and the roses were infested by aphids this is that rose plant that i was referring to there are two white rose plants i'll show both of them to you and both of them are a little different variety of roses so this is one of them now at this stage if you have a look at the plant there is not one pest on it and look at the number of roses you have on this tree now and i'll share why i have them now the first thing first is for me every year when the rose season ends when i know that now there will be no more blooms i chop off my plant completely i'll just keep the main stem uh for the tree for the plant but the remaining part i'll just chop it off and just get rid of it because i want that the next year everything should be fresh every single branch stem leaf flower should be fresh nothing from the past year that improves the immunity uh, system of your plant it Im uh, it improves the health of your plant because of which you will see less infections less pest attack and more flowers the next year so if you do that every year you'll see that every single year you move ahead you'll see more and more flowers on your plant and not less flowers compared to last year also when i see that the flowers are almost ready to die the spent flowers i would say i just want to get rid of those flowers immediately and i want them off my plant whether it is using a scissor or hand if it's just one flower mostly i use scissors because you do have thorns on your roses and you don't want to get hurt these flowers should be off your plant because i don't want anything that's dead or unhealthy on my plant because i want my plant to invest the energy on flowers that are doing good and not on the spent flowers to make seeds or anything the similar story with these orange roses beautiful color of you know this rose plant again it was very unhealthy when i moved in but then what i also do is every year when i know that the season has started which is spring in australia in september approximately in spring roses they start blooming and they will be there till january now when i know that this is the rose season at the beginning of the rose season i'll spray organic fertilizer to avoid aphid at aphids attack mostly it's aphids all the time on roses and i'll spray it on every single bud because aphids they like to feed on the buds because what happens is the the buds have a lot of energy a lot of juice in them and aphids will feed on them and that's why you'll see that when you have a rose bush there will be a lot of aphids on the buds of the plant so even if the plant is clean or the bud is clean just spray the organic insecticide to you know avoid that aphids attack and every single week what i do is every week two weeks i just give them a good wash of a soapy liquid uh it's a little bit of work but then when you have these many flowers in your garden when you have bees in your garden because of which you know the pollination increases it helps your vegetables to grow it's worth it i would say now this is one of those white rose plants that i have look at the growth of this plant the number of flowers you have on this one versus this white rose plant there are very few flowers if you have a look there's like for 6 9 10 10 12 flowers which is not a lot of flowers and the plant is also not that huge big i would say now both these plants were of same size when i moved in and i take equal care of both of them if you have a look at the health of the leaves of this plant the buds there is no pest at all there is no infested leaf at all all the flowers are healthy but roses love sun a lot of sun a lot of sun and a lot of sun they need sunlight full day sunlight to be healthy to bloom a lot now this rose plant gets sun but it only gets half day sun 
and the other one that you saw gets full day sun because of which the other plant that gets full day sun is growing three times you know in more speed much more speedily than this plant so also you have to make sure that you give your rose plant a full day sun from morning till evening that will help your plant to be healthy and bloom a lot of flowers it is not difficult to have roses trust me if possible plant them in ground they'll grow fast if if it's not possible then you can have them in pots as well just make sure you have a well drained soil with a lot of nutrients in it give them compost i never feed my roses because what i do is whatever garden waste i have like dry leaves or dried flowers i just simply put them all in the ground that is the best fertilizer i need not purchase any special fertilizer or manure and give it to my roses i never do that they love a lot of sun that's something you need to take care of then you need to prune them every year just cut everything off and give them that fresh new body the next year that is another thing you need, need to keep in mind and only water if you feel that it's going dry the soil is absolutely dry like bone dry only then you should water otherwise there is no need to water your rose plants because they don't need a lot of water with that i'll take your leaf and i hope you get a lot of roses in your life in your garden uh, trust me a best the one of the best options to attract bees uh, and it will help uh, you know save bees i would say save us save your vegetables and yep happy gardening mm -hmm.